little tip here. Uh, I like this wax because it's white. Uh, and when I do my diagnostic wax ups, I used to do it when I went to LVI and all that stuff with color wax, like brown or gray, because you see texture. But if you show that to a patient, they don't like it. And I gave that to my doctors, and they're like, what the hell is this? <laughs> so I started using white wax. So you'll see that every movement that my hand makes is going to be in the direction that I want the restoration to end. Okay? So I build almost like I, I encase the tooth. I build the uh, mesial, and then I'll build the distal area. Always knowing, almost like imagining the patient's belly button now there. And I'm turning it in his ear. So I'm always imagining the patient naked. <laughs> Just that could be good or bad. Just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very uh, true. You know, uh, I'm going to get to think that uh, Tyra Woods is okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to build a box around this guy. That's exactly how I do my wax up. So as you start doing this in your office, you can get a lot faster. Because so once you get these two centrals done, everything else is a piece of cake. And there's always about four views for this tooth to see if my first tooth is correct. My first view is this one, and sisal down. Okay, my second view is my profile make sure that I'm doing a good job of my profile. Okay, but most important for me is to look at this view. Okay, see from almost like the patient's nose looking out and make sure that everything's gonna start lining up. Okay, then it comes this little height of contour. Okay, so now my tooth is coming alive. Okay, I know that everything's going and I'm following this line here. Okay, so all I have to do now is just fill in the gaps here and right here. I have an alcohol torch. Do you want to help me? Uh, if you are in uh, the primitive days with the uh, uh, Bunsen burner, go yeah. ahead, Mr. Technology Guy. Yeah. <laughs> no. You need a, you can't, well, sure. Go ahead, Dr. Vasquez, no, 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 crazy no, guy. I don't have that, so I don't have to buy that. You need to get one of these More waxers. Toys. They're always warm uh they're always nice and this is only i think like 300 bucks and uh, i can get you a discount through the a supplier that i buy them from okay you get also that machine that i have that, that uh the hampies yeah yeah uh osada is the one that i suggest you get is really inexpensive and they never break the one that uh we have right behind me is uh microstar and they break and they're expensive Okay, so I have my first central pretty much where I want it. Again, I look at this view, make sure that I'm, I'm following my arch. Okay, and I'm in the right position. So I'm just going to fill in little gaps. At this time, I'm not going to contour it. At this time, what I do, since I'm fresh and I'm seeing what I'm doing, I'm going to start the next central because those are very important that they match perfectly. So again, we're going to do the little case here. And what's going to happen to you, because you're not used to this waxer, is that the wax is just going to like fly all over the place. You can blow on it and control it. Okay? And just like everything, it takes a little bit of practice. And I'm not going to do what they make us do in school, but it would be really fun if you did. You have to sit down, we have to sit down in school, grab the wax, and just make cones. And just see how long the cone could be, see like that, and just build little cones for hours. Mm -hmm. Was that school or prison? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I remember, it might have been the South American prison. Yeah, I, I, yeah, my life is a blur after in those days. So again, I'm building just a little outside of this tooth. And like I said, after these guys are done, the laterals are a piece of cake. Are the muffins ready? Yeah. I'm going to take them out of the furnace real quick. <laughs> there you go. So it's so cool to see someone flying all the way from uh, Alabama to see this. Mm -hmm.
That is a huge compliment. Well, it's been worth the trip. Well, obviously, because San Diego is a beautiful city to visit, right? So here goes with that line again. Okay, so I make sure that I follow that. At this point, if you find something like here that was under reduced, just throw a little bit of wax in and fill that in. This is a diagnostic wax up, and it's just a tool for our provisionals. And now that uh, we were talking with uh, you guys uh, about provisionals and tools, we're going to do a, a not only a stent for provisionals, but we can do a second stent for as a preparation guide. So, so you can put that on top of those teeth and just prep properly, like mm -hmm. we were talking about. Okay. So again, I'm going to look at it from this side, this side, and my profile. Always. Got my two centrals coming. Around this edge a little bit here. And I love doing diagnostic wax ups of anterior teeth. It's so cool. All right. Okay, now I'm going to start carving just a little bit on these two guys. A little bit of bulk on this distal. So I'm going to grab this little instrument here. So we're going to fill this lingual. And again, this depends on you how much you want to prep on this tooth at this stage. I try to go conservative because, again, we want to introduce composite on top of your rough preps. On something like this, you can definitely keep it a veneer if you want to. But I would suggest you prep a little bit more so then the technician or yourself can add a little bit of material here so then the patient doesn't feel funny. Mm. Okay? If you want to so leave it like that, it's fine. Composite, you're saying. Not wrap it because of the draw, but composite. After. You can do that. You can huh. do that. Or you can just prep, um, you know, more aggressive. So then you can have a, a nice lingual, mm -hmm. you know, so the patient feels more comfortable. I, with my veneers, I don't have that. So I have one that is a little bit wider than the other. And, you know, the tongue um, kind of gets used to it after a couple of decades. Yeah. <laughs> you get all my jokes, Kevin. Okay, That's so a now. Good day me for. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, ha ha ha. Okay. So the first thing I do is.